once again going to tell you a story. And choices. Just imagine walking down the street in New York City. Those of you who visited New York, the Big Apple, the high-rise condos, boy, these are million and a half, two million dollar condos before the real estate boom. And I'm walking along, kind of looking, skyline, and from a third store balcony, flower pot falls, bam, hits me in the head. Falls to the ground, pot breaks, flower falls out. I have some choices. I bet you can all think of this one. You sue this guy, he's got a lot of bucks. Look at the place he lives in. I'll claim, you know, concussion. You know, get my digital little portal phone out and call my attorney right now. Do that. Oh, I wanted to be John Wayne. I'm going to take this broken flower pot and put it you know where. But I get to the door and I see this guy as a linebacker for the Chicago Bears. Excuse me. <laughs> I can be metaphysical. Thank you. That probably brought some enlightenment to me. <laughs> what else can I do? What could I do that would turn this situation into thank you, gratitude situation? What if I were to take that flower, go over to the corner florist, have it repotted, take the pot back to the owner, it fell off your balcony, pot was broke, wanted to return it to you, repotted. Of all the things I could have done, which one would have made me feel the best? You're right, last one. My body would have been filled with all those good, warm, fuzzy chemicals. I would have had a moment of ah. I had a great laugh looking at the expression on the person's face. That would have been my best, wouldn't it? How many of us would think of that? Choices. When we undo blame, guilt, shame, we have the ability to uncover a new self. We suddenly have a whole new horizon, a whole new vista of choices. And those choices manifest our free will. The confusion, anger, fear disappears. <laughs>